Hey everybody, Adam or EposVox here with a quick little update video. I've been invited and accepted apparently into a beta program for a new YouTube Studio backend. And so I wanted to talk about it a little bit here and kind of show what's different and what's going on with it. If you weren't aware, uh, I can, yeah, I can pull up a video here. YouTube's layout has changed. Well, not permanently, not for everyone yet, uh, but they've released a new update for everyone to try. It's rolled out. You can actually apply to it, I think, at the very bottom. It's not going to show it here. At the very bottom of the normal YouTube page, there's one of these gives you the option to try the new layout. And it looks like this. And it's material design. It has a dark mode and a light mode. I keep the dark mode on. Light mode is here. Looks mostly the same, just lighter, of course. Um, but one of the really cool things about it, which I meant to pull up ahead of time, so I'm going to have to get a little creative here. One of the really cool things about the layout is the fact that it displays different aspect, it, it, it adapts to different aspect ratios depending on your screen size. And so, for example, this is a 21 by 9 video that's displayed in proper 21 by 9 or whatever widescreen aspect ratio it is. I don't think it's proper 21 by 9. Um, but it will do full 21 by 9, it'll do cinematic aspect ratios, it'll do 4 by 3, 16 by 10, and so on. Which is why I always harp on editing and rendering in the proper aspect ratio instead of adding black bars yourself. Because if, it, if black bars were put at the top and bottom of this video, it would be this size just with half the screen missing. So that's really cool. But they finally started rolling out a new backend. So this is what the dashboard usually looks like. And you have all these sections on the side here, which you're going to notice are missing. And there's this overview dashboard page. And then you go in. It's going to take forever to load. But you get the idea of what, I mean, I'm sure you've looked at the YouTube backend before. If you're at all interested in this, usually looks a little something like this. Well, they've changed it a little bit here. And so this is the default page. This is the videos page. And it's laid out kind of interesting. You get, you know, you, you get the normal categories here. You get the title, you get to edit every individual step of the process, which is kind of neat. What public what publicity state it's in, whether or not it's been monetized or demonetized, the upload date, views, comments, and you can click on it to view comments. And then it actually shows the like to dislike ratio instead of just the number of likes, and then you hover over it. And that is kind of neat. And again, you click on this, I'll middle click here, and you can see just the list of comments for that video, which is pretty handy. And then you can view the analytics just for that video, which is kind of neat as well. I kind of appreciate this. LOL at zero estimated revenue. That's because <laughs> it's not been a full 48 hours since the video has gone live, but you get the idea. Pretty neat, but I do have some issues with it and we're going to, I'm just going to give you an overview and list a couple things that I do feel are missing. First of all, it only shows the upload date. And since I upload a lot of videos in bulk, it doesn't update to show the go live date, like when it actually went public. So both of the, you know, all of these were uploaded on July 31st. This one doesn't go live till next week, and yet it's still going to show July 31st as the upload date forever through here, which is a minor annoyance, but that's okay. If we head over to analytics, it is a lot more visual and a lot nicer to look at. You get a lot more charts. You get a lot more graphs. It, you know, you get a lot nicer of a view, and it just makes it easier to consume and hopefully makes it easier for people to use, but parts are missing. And then the last section over here, though, is comments. And this section is really nice. And I'll go ahead and make everything full screen. So you can see which, I mean, this it's mostly the same, but they introduced the heart button for loving a comment because liking and disliking doesn't actually save. Okay, that's neat. On the old layout here, I'll actually show you real quick. You can see here, you only get to pick one or the other, which seems obvious. But on the old loadout, layout, not loadout, if you go to a comment, you can dislike and like it. Oh, they fix it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you can like and dislike it. And then if I refresh, the dislikes don't save. Like dislikes on comments mean nothing. They do not save anything whatsoever. It looks like in the new layout that might be different. Maybe not. Actually, here I can do that. I can dislike that comment. Refresh. The dislike saved. Oh, and the dislike saved from the old or from the old layout. So that is cool. Okay. So they they have updated it. And then you can hit here. You still have the usual reporting tools. You can reply to it right here. I don't know what that is supposed to Oh, show replies if there's been replies to it. So you can come to 
different comments. It hides, it looks like it hides a lot of the replies and then you can show it here. So that is neat. Held for review no longer shows a pointless comment count that for me shows an incorrect number. And then this contains a link so I can just report spam. Bam, link is gone. Oh, it does still think there's comments that there's not though. But you see here, that is all that is available. Which seems like a basic set of tools, but it's missing playlists, playlist management. You can't bulk, ed- you can bulk, bulk. You can't bulk edit videos. There's no copyright notices, copyright strikes, none of the channel management stuff. You can't change upload defaults. You can't set up, you know, your branding, your little overlay thing. You can't like. There, there's a lot missing here. There's no live streaming whatsoever. So it's missing a lot, but it looks pretty neat. And I can appreciate it. And I like that you can edit each individual step here. Oh, and it's like a quick edit. A quick inline editor for the titles and descriptions and stuff. I can appreciate that. Although it's a minor annoyance that that isn't a full... What happens if I click this? Oh, it goes to analytics. That is neat and kind of cool. And it's funny that I have all this data for a video that hasn't gone live yet. Lol. (laughs) But it's still missing a lot of tools. Oh, and clicking back a bunch is not taking me anywhere. That's interesting. It's not going back anymore. What if I click that? Alright, but there's no big editor? Like, where are the tags? I can't even edit tags from this. (laughs) Where? What? I I didn't actually know that. I didn't expect that. That's a little ridiculous. So you can't even edit tags from this edit menu. So it's a neat start, and I wanted to show it to you. And, uh... About YouTube Studio Beta, we'll see what they have to say. Yeah, you can send feedback. I sent a big feedback thing, although I was leaving out a couple things. Uh, but you can go to youtube.com slash creator, I believe, to try it out. And then it will show a new YouTube Studio button in the bottom left corner. I can show you that over here. Click that button. It takes you to the new one. It's kind of cool, and they're clearly working on getting things integrated into the new layout. And that was the big issue that I had, was that... They introduced this new layout for watching videos, but then whenever you switch to the back end, it went to the old method, and then it uh, that would make it inconsistent whether or not you watched a video following that, whether it's stuck with the new layout or not. So this is kind of neat. You can't enable or disable dark mode from here. It's not got the same controls because it's kind of an isolated beta page, and then you can join an actual, they always have a little forum for the beta testing itself. So kind of neat but missing a lot of features. So I am hopeful, but as my buddy Lagundo said, this may be one of those things where it's like, okay, this would be great if they added in the rest of the features and then in before they wind up just making this the thing without all the features and you keep having to go back to the old one to get to those features or they just leave them out altogether because YouTube. So just wanted to show this beta to you guys. Kind of neat. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. I'm interested to hear what you guys think. Again, I have a list of things that it is currently missing and if you happen to notice anything else do let me know i do need to add can't edit tags for a video i don't know it's a start i would think since they have this whole little banner thing up here and this you can search for your video so if i type in psp it's not going to search youtube it's actually going to pull up your videos which is really neat i really like this and if i click that it's going to pull up the comments for it that's pretty cool but i do think if they're going to have this little header thing here Especially if this is going to change dynamically. Keeping the banner, the channel banner, would be kind of neat. Might be a waste of space or data to load, but I think it's kind of neat. I do think, though, if they're going to have all these extra comment tools and let you finally love comments from this page and things like that, I would like to see an option to pin comments. Especially if you're in a per-video thing. I'd love to just be able to go pin. Instead of having to pull up the video page giving myself fake watch time or hurting my watch time if I click off of it to just pin a comment. This is where the comment tools should always be. And it doesn't ever make sense not to have them there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. All that stuff. I'll see you in the next one. This video is brought to you by TubeBuddy, the best tool you can get to manage your YouTube channel. Update videos in bulk, syndicate to social media, and back up your metadata and more, all with this simple browser extension. Head on over to eposvox.com slash TubeBuddy to download it for free and learn more. TubeBuddy! Download for free! 
Learn more! I love it! ePostVox is a Patreon-supported production. Our videos would simply not be possible without the support and generosity of our patrons, whom you can see on screen right now. If you'd like to join the inner circle and get early access to videos, among other things, go to patreon.com slash to learn more.